It is the pioneering work of China's aviation industry, producing 5,205 aircraft, serving for nearly half a century, exported to more than 10 countries around the world, and even regarded by the Pakistani Air Force as the nemesis of Indian warplanes. However, it is also the focus of controversy, frequent engine failures, short-range, simple radar, but created a record of shooting down and wounding 23 enemy aircraft and their own zero battle losses. It is the J-6 fighter. What kind of design philosophy so that this air scalpel in the technology generation gap to kill the bloody road? And what kind of strategy makes it become the synonym of quantity crushing and homeland air defense? The J-6 is a single seat twin-engine supersonic jet fighter modeled on the Soviet MiG-19 series of fighters, designed and produced by the Shenyang Aircraft Manufacturing Industry Company in the 1960s, the J-6 has developed into a number of models, with a total of 5,205 aircraft produced and has defended the country's airspace in the era of turbulence. In addition, the fighter was delivered as aid to Pakistan, Albania, Egypt and Southeast Asian countries, defending the airspace of these countries. This type of fighter was in service until 2010 when it was withdrawn from active service by the Chinese Air Force, and a large number of fighters have been sealed and used for display purposes. Nowadays, there is no longer a need for these old fighters to be stationed in China's airspace, and more advanced Su-27, Su-30, J-10, J-16, J-20 and a large number of complete spectrum of probing and fighting unmanned aerial vehicles have already taken over the post, and the era of exchanging 8J8 as for 1F22 has been completely buried. The era of 8J8 as for 1F22 has been completely buried in that era. However, a large number of sealed J6, in addition to serving as a reserve, has also been converted into drones and target aircraft, which can continue to contribute to the development of the motherland's air force but also involves a special window period for the development of China's military power in the new millennium. At this time China's industrial system is not yet sound. The collapse of the Soviet Union, the dramatic changes in Eastern Europe, the world turned upside down, the end of the honeymoon period between China and the US, the pressure of the entire Western world directly all smashed into China in order to strengthen the long-range strike capability. Chinese military workers began to retire and seal J-6 on the knife to engage in research. The unmanned J-6 came into being. J-6 fighter is 14.64 m long, 9 m wingspan, 389 m height, 5,447 kg empty weight, 7,560 kg maximum takeoff weight, maximum speed 121 Mach at 9,000 m height, 17,300 m practical ceiling. 1,690 km range with inboard tanks, 680 km radius of rotation, 180 m.s climb rate, the aircraft adopts the head air intake, large swept back monoplane, low the aircraft has a head intake, large swept back center monoplane, low profile tail, single drogue plus single ventral fin, and a single seat twin engine layout. The power system is two WP6 turbojet engines with maximum thrust of 25.5 kn and 31.9 kn, weighing 708 kg. In terms of radar and avionics, the J-6 was fitted with a P-1 range radar at the upper end of the inlet and in the center of the bulkhead. The cockpit was a traditional Soviet-style watch shop with mechanical hydraulic power-assisted flight control, electronic equipment including communication radio, radar ring fender, radio altimeter, gyromagnetic compass, beacon receiver, enemy identification, tail guard, etc. and the instrumentation equipment including pilot pilot gauges, engine gauges, as well as aircraft accessory gauges. Instrumentation equipment includes driving navigation instruments, engine instruments and aircraft accessory instruments, etc. In terms of weapons, the J-6 has fewer choices and it is equipped with 331 30mm guns in the early stage, one in the nose and two in the wings, and in the late stage, in order to increase its speed and lift, it has removed the guns in the wings and installed a 23-123 mm gun in the nose. And in terms of air-to-air -air weapons, in addition to the guns, China has equipped the J-6 with the newly developed Thunderbolt II aerial combat bombs. Ground attack is the shortcoming of the J-6, which can only carry a maximum of 250 kilograms of aerial bombs without a sub-tank or two UB-857 rocket launchers, 
The J6 was manufactured at an earlier time, and its performance parameters were backward, and avionics flight control was even worse for converting drones, whether it was installing a new type of console or equipping the aircraft with a satellite positioning system and a data processor was not a simple matter for China at that time. Chinese military engineers successfully converted some J6s in good flying condition into unmanned drones by installing analog consoles in the cockpit and introducing modern data transmission technology. The modified unmanned J6 has removed unnecessary equipment such as cannons, ejection seats, cockpit avionics and oxygen systems, added an automatic flight control system, and retained six underwing hangars that can carry multiple 5,250 kilograms aerial bombs, which is equivalent to the direct manufacture of a supersonic cruise missile capable of carrying out ground strikes according to the mission. This type of equipment even once attracted the attention of India, India's Eurasia Times, citing the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Research Investigation report that China in the southeast coast of the Ximin Airport, Longshan Airport, Luacheng, Huian Airport, Zhangzhou Airport and Shantou Airport five airports large quantities of deployment of unmanned J-6. At the same time in order to strengthen the air power of this aspect of the construction of a new 126 reinforced concrete reinforced airframes. Although the unmanned J-6 sounds very powerful, but the shortcomings are also very obvious. The backward avionics operating system even after the analog console improvement cannot be compared with the modern installation of photoelectric turret drones, cannot effectively and quickly transmit information to the operator, or can only follow the established route of flight. To attract the enemy's anti-aircraft radar to open the most important task, in addition to the J-6 smaller range also makes the J-6 cannot undertake long-distance long-range. In addition, the small range of J-6 also makes it impossible for them to undertake long-distance and long-time reconnaissance missions. Subsequent development In August 2023, the Air Force revealed the latest situation of the unmanned J-6, and the Air Force actually equipped it with the more powerful 253 aerial anti-tank cluster bomb, which is 2.4 meters long, with a diameter of 419 millimeters, weighing 500 pounds, and loaded with 147 hollow anti-armor bomblets, with submunitions weighing 1.13 kilograms, with an armor breaking power of 120 millimeters which is capable of destroying the modern top armor of tanks. Of course the point is not that the unmanned J-6 is fitted with this 1990s era weapon, but that the unmanned J-6 is capable of mounting cluster bombs on its missions. Cluster bombs are mainly used to hit the enemy's clusters to expose personnel and armor targets, and the requirement for timeliness is relatively high, which means that the unmanned J-6 must have good situational awareness or at least be able to seize the opportunity to smash the bombs on top of the opponent's head at the exact place and time. Otherwise, the terrain, soil structure, surface vegetation and meteorological conditions may prevent the sub-bombs from detonating properly, thus delaying the warplanes. Chinese military workers still do not forget to update these old equipment while developing new weapons. In addition to economic considerations, there is also time.